Hello and welcome to Arab Business. Egypt will import around $3.55 billion worth of liquefied natural gas in the 2015 to 2016 financial year, according to an official at state-owned Egypt, Gen General Petroleum Corporation. The EGAS State Gas Board has agreed to import 35 LNG cargoes from Russia's Gazprom over five years. This year and next, it has agreed to take 33 cargoes from Trafigura, 9 from Vitol, 7 from Noble and 6 from Algeria's Sonatrach. Two Qatari banks and Chinese brokerage Southwest Securities signed a memorandum of understanding to establish a company handling Islamic finance deals in China. At present, there is very little Islamic finance activity in China, but the country's population of Muslims is estimated at over 20 million, so some bankers see room for the industry to develop. The new company will help the two banks, Qatar National Bank and Qatar International Islamic Bank, to access, access China's markets for financing and investment, directly or indirectly. The UAE's employment market hit a new high in 2014, with more than 4.4 million people in work, according to the Ministry of Labour. Officials revealed that the employment rate grew last year by about 10% compared to 2013, with the construction sector topping the list of the three major employers. Arab countries are expected to grow by 3% in 2015, according to Arab Monetary Fund's first edition of Arab Economic Outlook report. The report indicates that the macroeconomic performance of Arab countries will be affected by a number of factors by a number of factors in 2015, including the declining trend of international oil prices and the recent internal developments in some Arab oil exporting countries. The economic growth for Arab oil exporting countries is forecasted to reach 2.9% in 2015, compared to 3.7% in 2014. And finally, a look at the stock markets in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia pulled back slightly in early trade after some heavyweight companies reported poor first quarter earnings, while Egypt rose. The main Saudi index dropped 0.4%, Abu Dhabi and Kuwait inched up 0.1%, Dubai climbed 1.3%, Egypt rose 0.3%, while Oman and Qatar both slipped 0.3%. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit Levant.tv. We will be back tomorrow with some more from the business world in the Middle East. Goodbye.